Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Genmon on Dockage. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So. Let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today. Genmon, Generac, and other models. A generator monitoring using R Raspberry Pi and Wi-Fi. Uh, you can also use uh, the open gen set, and that means that it's bridging and it's not storing all the data directly on the side of your generator with Raspberry Pi. You can actually uh, send all the data to a virtual machine. Um, today, we'll, we'll be installing it on Portainer. So you can send the da data through there um, uh, to the Docker. Um, so now this is what the functionality is. So monitoring a generator, a displaying serial numbers, there's all kinds of functionality in this. Um, so you can get SMS notifications and notifications on email, and you can also use call me bot, uh, the command line application, all functionality of email, ability to, uh, to set exercise time and generator time, ability to start, stop, exercise, and start an active transfer switch. Um, so now you can see the UI right here. So this is what the UI looks like. And also status, maintenance, outage, logs, monitor, not notifications, and settings. So that's what we'll be installing today. So I was fixing to create my own Docker file. Um, so, uh, but I also found that Skipfire um, from pintsize.me already had a Genmon add-on uh, set for it. So he's already got the Docker file set up and the Docker Impose and the, the README here. So, um, but I wanted to improve this. So I built a new Docker uh, fi fi file off of this one. Um, so still credits to uh, Skipfire for creating the initial one. So I'm going to go over to my Big Bear Gen Mon and um, to, to my uh, Big Bear Docker images uh, repo and show you what I built. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Docker images and I'm going to go in the Gen Mon and then uh, I'm going to go in the Docker file. So I'm going to use the slim uh, image of Python. And then uh, I'm going to set the uh, the environment variables for Debian front end and then the time zone. And then I'm going to uh, install the essential packages like Git, sudo, Chrome, and NetTools. And then I'm going to clean up. I'm going to expose the ports of 443 and 8000. Uh, so that's going to be exposed on the container. And then the work directory, I'm going to set to Git. And then I'm going to configure the use serial TCP to true on the environment variable. And then I'm going to clone the repository, and I'm going to go a depth of one. It's a shallow clone. And then I'm going to remove the git genmon.git so it cleans up the image and it shrinks it a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to initialize the application. So this is initialized at the genmon. And then I'm going to clean up the app to ca caches again. Um, so I'm going to copy the entry point uh, script to the container, and that's located over here. And then I'm going to make it executable, and then I'm going to set the entry point. So now um, th there's a readme version, and then a Docker compose, and then a entry point. So bin bash, I'm going to touch the var log startup.log and make sure it's there. And then I'm going to change uh, the environment variable. So I'm going to cha change etc genmon, genmon.config. Um, so uh, the use serial TCP. And then I'm going to put the environment variable in there. So now I'm going to start the application. So it starts it. And uh, this does need root to start. So that's why I didn't change this to another user. Um, so uh, it's going to follow the logs, and it's going to tell the log of var log startup.log. So, so you see it on the output. So 
that's a little bit about the Docker image. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go over here to the search and type Genmon. And then I'm going to go to how to install Genmon on Dockage right here. And then now I'm going to go in the Docker Compose. So version 3.8 of Docker Compose file format is being used. I'm going to set some services. And then the first service underneath the services is Big Bear Genmon. The image is coming off of Docker Hub by default because there's no URL before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. The, the environment variable is uh, the time zone. So set this to your own time, uh, time zone. And then the ports. Uh, so it's 20022 is on the host side. And then on the container side is 22. And sa same with this on the, on the host side. And then on the container side is 443. And then 8,000 on the host. And then 8,000 on the container. Um, if one of these host ports on the left does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. So now restart unless stopped. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then volumes down here. So Big Bear Genmon data is a local volume that's, that's defined down here. And then on the container side is get Genmon. And then on the host side is Big Bear Genmon config on this one. It's defined down here. And then on the container side is etc Genmon. And then Big Bear Genmon logs. And then it's defined down here. And then on the container side is var log. So I'm going to go up here to copy raw file. I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to go over my dockage and get this installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my dockage, and I'm going to go to Compose right here. Stack name, I'm going to say um, Genmon Stack. And then now I'm going to come over here to the editor. I'm going to paste in the Docker Imposed I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. And then once we do that, um, you can also see it in the UI right here. And you can edit from the UI plus the editor and vice versa. Um, so I'm going to go up here to deploy the changes. And then what this is doing is this download the Docker image off the registry, getting it extracted, getting it up with Docker Compose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. It's also setting up the volumes and the um, a network. Now it's setting up everything and getting it up and running. So now I'm going to go over the Docker GUI. So on the home page, you have active, exit, and inactive. It's just a quick way to see what the status of your stacks are. And then you, you have your list of your stacks over here. So I'm going to go into Genmon stack. So you have actions up here. You can go into edit, and you can actually add a um, service underneath services like this. And then it's added. You can also go into the uh, UI editor, and you can add an image. And then it's added to... You can also just delete it, um, and it's gone now. So um, you can go in here and edit the ser a service and the cont uh, container, and um, you can delete it like I just done. You can add your rails. You can come down here and set environment variables, uh, ch change the internal and external networks. You can go up here to deploy your changes, save the changes, stop it inactive, and then discard your changes. I'm going to discard the changes. You can restart your stack right here. You can update the current tags on your stack. Stop, stop and inactive, and then delete. You can also see the containers in your stack right here. You can see the ports that are on the host side. And then you can go into bash and go inside your cont a container right here. You can also switch to SH. Um, you can go back to the stack. You can see a console log of what's happening. This is great for debugging. You can see a read-only version of the Docker Impose over here. Um, so that's a little bit about Dockage UI. So now I'm going to go to the UI and see if it works. So um, you can go to the UI by clicking the 8000 here, the port. 
So, so you can see we're on the dashboard now. So you can see battery voltage, utility voltage, output voltage, frequency, RPM, CPU temp, the engine line, the last log entries, the time. You can go over here and see tabs over here for maintenance. And you can say a, ge a generated exercise time. You can change it to, b to weekly, bi, bi weekly, or monthly. Um, you can set exercise time by clicking here and then generator time. And then remote commands like stop generator, start generator, start generator, and transfer. You can go, go to the outages, and you can see the outage log. You can see logs right here. And um, you can go to the mo mo monitoring right here. So generator monitor stats and a, a communication stats and platform stats. And then a notifications, you can set your email here. And you can pick which kind of no notifications you want. If you want error, warn, info, or outage. You can also add another one, and then you can press save. You can go to the service uh, journal right here, and you can add a one, one in. And um, you can clear the journal. You can print the journal. And then you can go to settings right here, a general settings. And then generator mo model Pacific set settings right here. And then a web server security settings, outbound e email settings, and then optional inbound email command a pro processing. And then uh, a, you can display the current weather. Um, if you don't want to set up a outbound uh, email, you can also set up like mail pit or something. And um, you can put it in here. Um, but it won't send to a real email. It'll just send to mail pit and you'll get all the logs uh, through there. So um, you can go to add-ons right here, and you can see all the add-ons like uh, Genmon GPIO uh, outputs, and then Linux system logging, external tank uh, fuel monitor, um, uh, there's different ones. So um, you can also go to the bow right here, and you can see about Genmons. You can upgrade to the latest version, which you would need to do that through your Docker Compose. And then um, you submit a register, submit logs, backup, and log files. Um, you can go back to status. Um, you can co come up here to the cog and generate a mo monitor. Um, you can go, go to live a register view right here, so 10 minutes. And you can print that off. And then one hour. And then 24 hours. So... That's a little bit about Genmon's UI. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting Genmon running on dockage. So if you liked the tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.